What if I told you the Soviet Union once built a secret flying monster that could skim the seas at unbelievable speeds? This is the Ekranoplan, a Soviet leviathan skimming the waves at speeds thought impossible. How did a 550-ton machine defy gravity? And why did its creation lead to mysterious disappearances? Today, we'll uncover seven hidden truths about Soviet engineering that shocked historians worldwide. The story of the Ekrano plan begins in the 1960s, at the height of the Cold War. Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev boasted of boats that could jump over bridges. Little did the world know, this wasn't mere propaganda. It was the dawn of a new era in maritime warfare. Just like a stone skipping across water, Soviet engineers harnessed ground effect, a little-known aerodynamic phenomenon to create something extraordinary. This is the tale of ambition, secrecy, and technological marvel that would reshape naval strategy for decades to come. Truth number one, exploiting a rare aerodynamic phenomenon. Our first truth reveals how Soviet engineers, led by the brilliant Rostislav Alexeyev, exploited ground effect aerodynamics, a concept dismissed by Western experts. In 1966, they unveiled the KM, or Caspian Sea Monster, a behemoth larger than any aircraft of its time. The KM could lift an astonishing 544,000 kilograms and reach speeds over 600 kilometers per hour, all while flying mere meters above the water. This achievement was so incredible that when US satellites first spotted it, analysts concluded it couldn't possibly fly. The ground effect phenomenon creates an air cushion between the wings and the surface, dramatically increasing lift and reducing drag. This allowed the Akranoplan to carry payloads far beyond what conventional aircraft or ships could manage, while using significantly less fuel. Truth number two, classified as a ship, not an aircraft. Our second truth involves a clever classification that baffled NATO intelligence. Due to its unique design, Soviet authorities classified the Akranoplan as a naval vessel rather than an aircraft. This decision wasn't just bureaucratic, it was strategic. By operating in this gray area between sea and air, the Akranoplan could evade traditional naval defenses and radar systems focused on the sky. It was a true hybrid defying conventional categorization. This classification also allowed the Ekranoplan to bypass certain international treaties limiting aircraft size and capabilities. It effectively created a new category of vehicle, challenging existing military doctrines and forcing a re-evaluation of naval defense strategies. Truth number three, CIA's intelligence blunder. The third truth exposes a major CIA blunder that had far-reaching consequences. Declassified documents reveal that American intelligence mistakenly categorized the Ekranoplan as a conventional airplane. This miscalculation led to years of strategic errors. The CIA, focused on high-altitude threats, overlooked the Ekranoplan's true potential as a low-flying menace. It wasn't until years later that the full implications of this error became clear. This miscalculation persisted for years, with the CIA focusing resources on countering high-altitude threats while overlooking the potential of low-flying, high-speed naval vehicles. The error highlights the challenges of accurately assessing adversary capabilities during the Cold War era. Truth number four, mysterious disappearance of engineers. Our fourth truth delves into one of the Cold War's enduring mysteries. During the Ekranoplan's development and testing, at least 12 Soviet engineers reportedly vanished under suspicious circumstances. Official records remain sealed to this day, fueling speculation about espionage, sabotage, or even defection. Did these brilliant minds fall victim to Cold War intrigue? Or was there a more sinister explanation? The truth may never be known. Some theories suggest these disappearances were linked to knowledge of the Ekranoplan's true capabilities, which may have exceeded even the Soviet leadership's expectations. 
The silence surrounding these cases continues to fuel conspiracy theories and speculation among military historians. Truth number five, secret nuclear payload capability. The fifth truth reveals the Akranoplan's hidden teeth. Historical evidence suggests certain models, like the Lund class, were secretly designed to carry nuclear missiles. With six SSN-22 Sunburn missiles, each capable of carrying a nuclear warhead, a single Ekranoplan could potentially sink an entire carrier group. This capability would have dramatically altered Cold War naval dynamics had it ever been put to the test. The Akranoplan's ability to rapidly deploy nuclear weapons close to enemy coastlines represented a significant shift in nuclear deterrence strategy. Its low radar profile and high speed made it a potentially devastating first strike weapon capable of evading traditional early warning systems. Truth number six, abrupt cancellation and cover-up. Our sixth truth uncovers the sudden and mysterious end of the Akranoplan program. Despite promising test results, the Soviet Union abruptly cancelled further development in the late 1980s. Some historians suggest internal political sabotage or pressure from rival military branches. Others point to the changing geopolitical landscape as the Cold War wound down. Whatever the reason, the dream of the flying ships seemed to die overnight. The sudden halt left many questions unanswered about the program's true effectiveness and the reasons for its termination. Some speculate that the project's enormous cost, combined with changing military priorities as the Soviet Union neared collapse, led to its demise. Truth number seven, lost prototypes still hidden. Our final truth hints at a tantalizing possibility. Recent archival research suggests the existence of three additional prototypes, constructed but never publicly revealed. Could these lost Ekranoplans still be hidden somewhere today? Some experts believe they may be stored in remote facilities, waiting to be rediscovered. If true, these prototypes could hold the key to reviving this revolutionary technology. If these prototypes do exist, they could provide invaluable insights into advanced Soviet aerospace engineering techniques. Their discovery could potentially reignite interest in ground effect vehicles for both military and civilian applications in the 21st century. From defying physics to baffling intelligence agencies, the Ekranoplan represents a fascinating chapter in Cold War history. Its legacy lives on, inspiring new generations of engineers and reminding us of the extraordinary lengths nations will go to gain a strategic edge. The story of the Ekranoplan doesn't end here. Recent reports suggest Russia may be revisiting this technology for Arctic patrols. Will we see the return of these maritime marvels? Subscribe now and join us next time as we explore more forgotten wonders of military technology.